All right, today's, it's Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Today's the 30th of August, 2017. And this is a, uh, an add-on. And this is for folks that have been watching our videos right along. Um, we, make, we make biochar and we make biochar for a lot of different reasons. Uh, it is a source of health for our animals and our feeds and it is a source of protection for our biology and our soils. I guess that's a good way to put it. When we run it through our animals it protects the biology that will come out the back end of, the, of that animal which the soils can use. Alright and you know we've got a a retort that'll make a couple hundred pounds of biochar every time we burn it and this is part of the process here when the biochar is completed it'll look like like this it'll come out in lumps right and it looks pretty much like the wood that went in and this here has uh, a certain uh, exposed area but if we run it through this hammer mill, this is a feed mill actually is what it is, 1928 case. I've had it for 20 years. And we turn it over with this 1946 Alice Chalmers, and we do a lot of things with that Alice um, that I've also had for 20 years. Uh, we wind up with a product that looks like this. I'm going to turn this around and show it to you. Almost looks like coal dust, but it is pure biochar and it is mostly, overwhelmingly, mostly carbon. I mean, like 99 and 44 one hundredths carbon. Um, that has no smell to it. If you were to taste it, it has absolutely no taste. So when we break it up like that, it makes it so that we could mix it in with animal feeds. Uh, the animals will take it through. Uh, if I threw this in with the pigs right now, they can do this too. They can crunch this up and it will make it through them. But with chickens, like just in our regular chicken feed, we like to have it broken up like that. And also, if we're going to put it in any kind of uh, uh, compost, we really want to have it broke up like that. Now that uh, pile of, of biochar, we're going to use it as an amendment in certain soils that we're putting together for certain things that we're doing in the greenhouse. You know, I mean, everything is kind of different, but uh, biochar is always good in soil because it protects the bacteria in that soil. And when I picked that handful up before, it was wet. So you can feel uh, the water retention in there. It'll protect the moisture for a long, long time. So when we do run it through the animals and then it's deposited out on the fields, it protects the bacteria, the biology, you know, the nematodes, the protozoa, all those things that help us to build good soils. Now where this is ground up like this, we could add this with a, a sifted compost mix and we could put it in a spreader and we could take it out on our lawn and it would be an excellent long-term um, care for the lawn because you're gonna put diverse bacteria down that wouldn't normally be there. All right, and what's nice about this, I talk a lot about bacteria and collecting bacteria everywhere you go. I wouldn't do it at hospitals probably, but. <clears throat> uh, if you go someplace and you can find something that's interesting, let's say some rotten logs from wet redwood trees, you know, out in the Sequoias National Forest or something. That's kind of unique. I would bring some of that home, I would grow it, and then you could spray it. You, you can grow it in a, just like making sun tea, and then you could apply it to that. And that would be a very diverse bacteria to have here in Michigan <clears throat> brought out from the West Coast. Things like that. Um, <clears throat> and you know, you could make biochar and it could be 
you know, essence of the UP or essence of Cincinnati, you know, I mean, you could do that and you would be bringing biology from different places together. If I wanted to just bring biology, let's say from Maine here, and I bring it in the form of seaweed, it's kind of hard to protect that long term um, where it's not, you know, its native area to live. <clears throat> but if you can put it into biochar, biochar can, can protect that and keep that bacteria from uh, getting killed off by, you know, the sun, the extreme cold, lack of moisture. There's all kinds of ways bacteria can meet its demise. So that's what we're doing today, and I'm kind of excited about it because I wanted to get this stuff ground up for a while. It's sitting around taking up space. Now we can get it in bags, and it's ready for us to use uh, whenever we need it. So, Mark from Baker Screen Acres. Remember, anyone can find.